everybody, my name is Sally Ann Spence and we are here at the Hills Quarry Products Dig in Cerny Wick where we are getting material from both the Ice Age and the Jurassic. Please keep watching our videos, we've got lots of things that we're uncovering and also we're learning from this site so you can watch those videos. Now we are live when we take these videos, we are not editing them, they are quite raw and from the field itself, we want you to experience that alongside us. And right now we're going to have a look in this trench because Martin Brett has something extremely cool to show us. So let's go and have a look. Hello, Martin. Hello there. Busy at Hi. work. Now I'm going yeah. to be very careful getting in your trench because I don't want to get too close to anything. Yeah, that's it's fine. delicate. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, can you tell us what we're looking at? This is a mammoth skull. Ooh, okay. Look at so, this. I mean, what they think has happened is that it was washed. A, a carcass was washed down the river in the time of 400 million, year, uh, million years ago and the skull probably got partly fractured so what we think we're looking at here is a skull which is upside down so the top part of the skull has been knocked off yep and then this has come to rest on the rock here which we think is the Callaway's rock oh. we think there's a fault near here so some Callaway's rock which is much higher up over the way there yes has um, been essentially fought the drop down Okay, and so this is why we've got all these fractured blocks. So it would have been a very rough stream edge. Right. Which also means then that they, it formed pockets where material like a mammoth skull could settle in place. Okay, now you are a retired surgeon, aren't you? Yes, indeed. So you're the perfect person for this. We have actually got a laminated sheet. So I'm just going to pass this round. Um, we have got these floating around the site. So a lot of the students who don't know their way around the anatomy necessarily uh, can help them recognise the bones. And so here we have the skeleton of a um, step mammoth. Uh, and this is the, the majority of the mammoths that we're finding on the site. Um, now, I'm looking at this and I'm looking at this. Can you tell us, as a surgeon, there we are, um, which, which bit is where? Well, the best way to think about it is that the mammoth, obviously this is disarticulated from the rest of the mammoth, Okay, but this is the bit we think we have here. Right. Okay, there's so no sign of any vertebrae, so we have this part here. Oh, look at that. Perhaps the best way, it may not be actually so much that part there as across here. Oh, okay. okay. So that bit, we think, has been knocked off. Okay, and what we think we have, therefore, you can see those two tusk inserts. We right. think these are the tusk inserts here. Oh, right, just here and here. Yeah, yeah indeed. Right. That's what we're thinking. I mean, we were wondering what this is. That might be a nasal bone. It looks very robust for a nasal bone, but it's possible that's what that is. So this still needs a lot more excavating work, doesn't it, or excavation work? Yes, I mean, the main problem is it's resting on this Callaway's rock and there's very little gap between it. So what the next thing to do would be to explore along the side here, try and see if we can get a better surface and then decide how best to remove it. And then we were just discussing whether it needs to be removed in pieces or whether it can, we can attempt to get it up whole. But it is actually on the rock and that goes all the way through to the other side. And it's so huge, isn't it, actually? It is, I suppose, I guess, in keeping with an adult uh, step mammoth. I mean, I don't think at this stage we know whether it's male or female, but uh, um, these are the arches here we call zygomatic arches, which are part of this part of the skull here. That's what we're thinking of, this part here. Okay. So you can see tusks there and possibly signs of these arches here. So I think it's probably knocked across that way, like so. Like that. Or rather more like so. So we're seeing that bit here and we're wondering whether there'd be any teeth in it, but I mean, we haven't found any so far. Well, that is absolutely incredible, isn't it? Isn't it just? You've got a mammoth yeah. find here. How yeah. bad is that? Well, yeah. that's, that's, we're at the end of week one, so bear with us by this stage um, that we're bringing out jokes as bad as that. But that is a mammoth yeah. find. That's amazing. Yeah. I mean, it's been wonderful to work on it. I mean, it's been waiting for a few days until we got a plan to deal with it. But I'm delighted to see our visitors. We've exposed it more today and that something good will be done with preserving it and so, and so on. There's a lot to learn from this, isn't there? Absolutely. So what's brought you on this dig then, Martin? Um, well, I did the dig last year. I mean, I, um, in midway through, sort of in the process of retiring from surgery, I did a geology degree. And then I got on to the Peterborough Geological and Paleontological Group and I met Richard Forrest. And he said, why don't you come along for a mammoth dig? 
<laughs> and that's what <laughs> I did not? last year. And I thought, well, I've been on one mammoth dig and had a great time. Why not come along with another mammoth dig and have an even better time? So here I am. And you and you've done it. You've. Um, it's amazing. I don't think. I'm just trying to think. Last year, I don't think we had a bone section as big as this actually i didn't see anything like it last no. year i mean there's some very good tusks last year i got and was able to assist with getting those out but not since we didn't see anything like no. this it's amazing no i i don't think we actually had a, a skull piece as big as this at all so i have to say it's all a team effort i mean i'm one person who's been working on this and it's absolutely fantastic to be part of that but everything is of course is a team effort absolutely um, yeah, yeah no well that's just brilliant well yeah. martin congratulations <laughs> i do <laughs> think you. you've got a lot of work to do still yes indeed um well. and then obviously it's got to be go through its entire recording process um and be uploaded and on the app and everything else and then go up to conservation that and the jacketing and the lifting it's the, we've got a lot of conversations to have about this yeah, i think isn't there's there? a lot to do still yes definitely so, yeah, very good progress today very pleased to see this today oh it's mm. fantastic well yeah. done martin <laughs> well keep watching our videos we are updating them constantly every day you will get a new load of videos that are being recorded live as i said from the site letting you discover the people that are working here the people that are coming in with their expertise and also what uh, we are finding it is really exciting we are three weeks on this dig three weeks and we're at the end of the first dig so please keep watching or first week should i say keep watching these videos and keep yourselves updated and remember the hashtag is tusk force